You could have been mixing it while I'm doing this. Well, no. I am. I Got am it. filming my love. That's what I'm doing. And now it's my okay. So now it's my time to shine. What I'm gonna do is empty this here brownie mix into this bowl. If you guys didn't know, Bill and I fail at brownie making every single time. I think we got what do you call it? Fudgy brownie mix or something. What's the name of it? Mmm, the chewy fuzz brownie. Wait, is this big enough? This, uh, we'll okay. show him later. Okay, now. I'm showing now. Okay, now we're going to need to dispose of that. We have a whisk here, because we usually do not use it. But this time we will, because that's what I did when I made my perfect brownie. Let's check it in there. But anyways, I already put the eggs in here as you guys saw and now I'm going to put the vegetable oil in this one cup measuring cup because that's what the instructions Wait, wait, no. You need half a cup. What? For, for, for fudgy brownies? Okay. So we're going to take this one fourth measuring cup and fill it up twice because we do not have the half cup measuring cup. So I'm going to pour the veggie oil in there. Okay, once we put it down. Yeah. Now we take the cup and we pour it. And this twist. So now I'm going to do the same thing again. Mm -hmm. Vegetable oil in the one fourth cup. I'm going to fill it up all the way. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay, and now we need to get one fourth cup of water. All right, pour the water in, babe. So now I have one fourth cup of water. It was a long time coming, but now I have it. I'm gonna pour it in the bowl, like so. And now I feel like this bowl is just a little bit too small. Prefer to always use bigger bowl. <clears throat> oh yeah, there we go. Whipping it, whisking it. But this bowl is a little bit too small. He's got. I don't wanna overflow, but hey. Okay. See, now it's gonna spill. Your brownie mix should be coming to a fudgy consistency. If it is not, you know you are doing the Carly and Jalen incorrect brownies. <laughs> nah, just the Jalen. <laughs> I be fucking them up. Ooh, yeah, work the iris. Work, work your iris. <laughs> work your iris. Work them. And then you proceed to do this until you know, I've done it about 50 times, says the box, but I'd say do it until you see no more dry stuff or no more whole eggs. That's gross. And then after that, we'll pour it in the pan. Yeah, so basically, see you soon. basically whip it until it looks yummy and edible. Now I'm just pour this all up in here. Or oh, nice and even like maybe I should have started from the middle. Hey, teach it all. Do your thing, girl. Oh my god, boy. Oh, they don't know. So we're gonna continue to put the brownie mix into this pan. Everything's going great and steady. Whip it, Jay. Mm-hmm. They call me Jay Whippin'. They call me Jay Toby. They call me Massive. 
Um, oh, oh my gosh, okay. And now we're gonna have to spread it out with this thing that we have here. Now we have the mix in the pan, but I first need to spread it out. So let's begin. Make sure it covers all corners of your pan. Maybe you should, you should, you should pick it up and shake it. Let gravity work its magic. I was Helena. thinking about that, but I'm not done putting in the corners yet. Okay, you see that? How she did that? Take now that the corners are in place, I'm just going to move the middle. You just wobble it. We are not like real chefs. Thing. Speak, well, we speak for yourself, food. girlfriend. So, what I did was. Put all the brownie mix in all the corners so that we can have an even pan of brownies. We don't want some of the brownie to be more luscious than others. And you also don't want thin, crispy edges either. So I'm just going to put this over in all the corners because the middle is thicker as usual. This is a preference thing. You don't have to do what I'm doing. Fun. Now stop it. We have a beautiful pan of brownie mix and now it is going in the oven and we are going to put it in the brownie mix in the oven for the proper amount of time listed for our pan size. Do not forget that. So we have a 13 by 9 pan so we need to bake this for 21 to 23 minutes and then we're going to let it cool and I will cut it up. It's time to reveal! Open! Yay! Take it out! Oh shit! Oh no, maybe you should get something else. There we go. There we go. They're beautiful! Okay, I'll zoom in. These are the brownies fresh out of the oven. But what you need to do is take a toothpick or a knife. I usually like to use toothpicks, but I can't find any. And just stick it preferably in the middle and see if your knife is clean. If it still had something on it, it wouldn't be done. Okay, we're good. Welcome back, you guys. Now we, <laughs> now we have let our brownies dry. Let it dry. <laughs> Shut up. Let our brownies dry for 19 minutes. So beautiful. And we're gonna cut them now. You got some ice cream? Mm -hmm. But they look beautiful. Let's get started. Here are our brownies all cut and they look beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. We're going to try to make more cooking videos. Because Jalen cooks most of the time. But since I finally perfected my brownie recipe, I just wanted to share it. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. And now I'm going to enjoy some brownies.